traveled to Sweden for the Jun Olsen Invitational, which was a big air event. It was my first time for the uh, World Ski Tour Finals. In the second day of training, I managed to go too big on my second jump. And um, as I landed, my ski got caught in the snow and didn't come off. It twisted my knee and I tore my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus. But yeah, it was, it was a scary moment for me, uh, being in the air, looking about 80 to 100 feet to where I was going to land. My goals this year for skiing are to focus on my rehab. If I want to come back to skiing at the level that I was at, I need to make sure that my knee is at 100%. Just being able to go and relax and get in the hot and cold tubs, it really helps, especially after surgery. It's really beneficial to that initial recovery stage. Using the spa in general uh, allows me to take my mind off of my training. It helps me take my mind off of other things that I might be worrying about, things that don't really matter at the time. Uh, it just helps me focus and, and helps clear the mind. Breathing is a huge factor when it comes down to competition. You can really calm yourself down and put yourself in the competition mode. If I know I've got a training camp going on or if I'll be skiing quite a bit, I'm able to maximize when I use the spa for my recovery and for my training. When I get the chance to use the steam room, that gives me the time to focus and work on breathing techniques to help me relax. And when I'm out on the mountain, I can picture myself, for example, in the steam room. Yeah, it really is effective for the training aspect and the competing as well. My name is Simon D'Artois, and I'm a skier on the Canadian National Half-Life Ski Team.